Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video series, you would be learning about Code Igniter. If anyone who does not know what is a Code Igniter, Code Igniter is a PHP framework which works on MVC pattern and it is most popular framework in the industries. So uh, in this video series, you would be learning all the basics of Code Igniter to the expertise what you need to create a dynamic web applications so in short what is uh, in short a coding igniter is a toolkit for all the php developers and it gives you the enhancement and reusability of code as it has all its uh, as it has many libraries and many reusability features so i said that code igniter is a mvc pattern works on mvc pattern so if anyone does not know what is mvc and how the flow uh, how the data flows in mvc pattern so here is a short description for you so this is our web browser first the web browser requests the controller and controller gets the request from the web browser and it uh, it has all the application logic and it has all the application logic and it processes the user user request and get the data from the model now the model is the one which does the database connectivity fetch the data from the database but not only database it can be from apis like it can the data can be an xml even a text file then after fetching the data from model again the controller manipulates all the data and then your website designs html files no images CSS etc so this is how the view has been loaded and after the view is completed the response is given to the web browser so the flow goes like the first request goes to the controller controller fetches the data from the model and manipulates it and makes your view and after creating the view of your website it just gives the response to the web browser and user sees the uh, website so this is the basic MVC flow and code igniter or many MVC, uh, many PHP framework use this pattern. So the first question arises is why to use code igniter? There are n number of PHP frameworks in market, but why to use code igniter? So here is a documentation of Code Igniter. So here they have given the features of Code Igniter, which makes it very friendly for the users. First of all, uh, Code Igniter is an application framework. So it has, um, uh, it is like a toolkit for the people who used uh, to build web applications using PHP. You just need to have some basic knowledge of PHP and object oriented features. And uh, if you don't have any such knowledge, we would go in deep while we are moving in the further lectures. Secondly, Code Igniter is free. So it is free of cost. It's an open source technology. Another very important feature of Code Igniter is a code igniter is a lightweight MVC framework. Uh, so what is a lightweight framework? The resources used by code igniter and its libraries to load and manipulate the code written by us is quite efficient as compared to another PHP frameworks. So the resource consumed by code igniter is quite less and it's much faster than the other PHP frameworks. So Code Igniter is also fast. It's really fast. We challenge you to find a framework that has better performance than Code Igniter. 
and truly this confidence this attitude is remarkable but uh, in true sense it is very fast so as we discussed coding nighter uses mvc and uh, we have discussed it 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 also generates clean urls so nowadays uh, the url must be a clean url and it must not have any extensions like .php .html etc so that the seo can be done search engine optimization if you don't know what is search engine optimization it is the way your website ranks in the google search results so it's very important to have the clean urls so as to get higher ranks in google as well as there are many more things but the main important thing about code igniter is the documentation of code igniter i really like the documentation of code igniter and it's truly very helpful and for anyone who wants to learn code igniter and um, after going through my videos if you are stuck somewhere you can refer to this documentation or just comment in my videos so hope, hope you like this video thank you for watching in next video we'll see how the flow of code igniter is and what is the application flow chart as we can see here so this would be the basic of code igniter and uh, Hope you liked it thanks for watching guys please like and share and comment below if you have any doubts thank you